had to bring me to University Medical Center, the main hospital, mm. in order to save my life. But they was able to transport me from where I was at in New Orleans East all the way to like around the Superdome to the hospital. Kept me alive. It kept me alive. <laughs> it saved my life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Come on, man. Mm. Let's talk about let's talk about the 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 surgery. Like when you went in, you only couldn't go by what you heard after you right. after that they right. put you out. I I was out from when I passed out in the car. How long did you pass out in the car? Yeah, I passed out. I didn't make it to the hospital. Okay, let's talk about you that. Crashed. What happened? You crashed? Yeah, I was losing too much blood. I was shot nine times. And he I'm was in there too. To drive to the hospital, but he was back there crying and you know mourning his his girl. So when y'all crashed, the ambulance came. I don't know what happened when I crashed. Did you even hear or you ain't even know or no? Well, Nobody hasn't told you. Did the ambulance came. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. But they didn't tell you like how long it took them to he, come, listen, all that listen. stuff. He was able to get out and fl oh, flag okay. someone down. But the crazy part is he flagged the people down and said, my girl. Wow. Mm -hmm. It took for someone to pass and say, hey, we got someone behind the wheel too. Wow. And how do you know that? You heard him? No, this is you know. No, he had already passed out. Somebody told you. Somebody told. The, yeah, this was from the you know the, the people. The people that got you. I gotta ask. So what what street when? Okay, cause you said this was a stoplight when you stopped when the truck you know pulled up. What street did this happen on? Crowder. Crowder. Crowder Boulevard in New Orleans East. And then when you drove, what street did you have that wreck on? How far did you get? I drove. All right, so Crowder. I turned down Lake Forest and I drove all the way to Lake Forest and Reed, which would be the next, you know, across street. Okay, and that's where you had the wreck. Exit if you was getting off the interstate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the hospital is right there to my right. Oh, so you was, was not was, far was from almost, it. I was almost there, but they said, good thing I didn't make it there because I probably would have died. That hospital don't have a trauma unit. That's not that type of hospital. So when they came and picked up, they had to so take you somewhere up, else. They still had to bring me to University Medical Center, the main hospital, mm. in order to save my life. But they was able to transport me from where I was at in New Orleans East all the way to like around the Superdome to the hospital. Kept me alive. It kept me alive. <laughs> it saved my life. Wow. Mm. Cause when you think about the 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 time for you to get there, you out. No. No, when you when when the ambulance picked you up, yeah, you I'm out. Right. How long were you out? How many surgeries did you you w went through before you woke up? But what? A total surgery. I don't, I don't really know. You don't even know. Nah, see, cause that shit, I I never even like once I was alive, man. I just started worshiping God and praying. Come and on, just man. Thanking God, man. Boy. The rest of that don't matter. Don't matter. You know, but it's information for. You know, for the people, like so that yeah, yeah, yeah. But nah, I have to ask my mom. She was, she was there. Yeah, she she knows the whole everything, every everything. She was there. Yeah. yeah because and, she and praying. Always, she she says she never felt like I was gonna die. That's that's hard, man. That's fake. Because she that's came one to thing. the hospital and she had COVID at the time. Wow. Wheelchair bound COVID. Wheelchair and they let her in there. Full blown, blown COVID. And they let her in there. Yeah, but we didn't disclose to them that she had COVID. Oh, okay. They didn't disclose to them that she had COVID. They knew they would have stopped her from. She had to get to her baby. Come. She had to come. But when she got to the hospital, she told everybody, hey, no, stop all that crying. Y'all ain't about to cry my child away. She's strong in faith. That's why I'm strong in faith. That's, That's real. taught me how to pray. So you get up, when you come, when you come to, tell me about that. When I come to, <laughs> I raise my head up and I look around and I'm fucked up. I don't know what happened to me. Who was the first person you but saw? I'm hurt. Nobody. Nobody wasn't in there when you? It was COVID. No mm -hmm. visitors, no, no none of that. So I woke up. 
just but well, my mother was there. My mother was there. I looked up, I look around, I see my hand gone. Like, cause this shit was healed. Yeah. Already. Already healed. It was healed when I saw it. But the staples in this, just the cut is still open, but my this was healed. So you so, have been in there a while. Yes, what I'm telling you. Look, I had just got a fresh haircut, like hours before this happened. And when I woke up, I had a bush. Nigga had a damn a whole hair fro. <laughs> I had a bush. A got a, and everything. A baby Michael Jackson. That's how, that's how long I was out, man. But you came alive, and I thank God for it. And, and, when, you, and when you woke up, man, that had to be I different. I woke up, I saw my arm was gone. I thought I was tripping. I just laid back again. I raised back up again, and I moved. And when I moved, and it really was gone, I guess the look on my face made my mother be like, wondering what happened to your hand. I'm like, yeah, you know, I can't talk, so I'm just shaking my head. She was like, you don't remember? I'm like, nah. So you don't remember? No, no. I'm like, nah. So she said, just, well, you just cut. So she didn't tell me anything. Which kept me up every night. <laughs> she How like, long I did never, it take? I never, never went back to I sleep. I never went to sleep. She like, what the hell happened? I never went to sleep. She used to call the hospital three o'clock every morning to check on me, and every morning they tell her, "Oh, he, he sitting up and up." <laughs> <laughs> My mind, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what, what happened, happened to me, and I never been hurt like that before. Yeah. Like, I'd never been, I didn't So you couldn't even leg. remember back to the leg. shooting or none of that? Not at that time. At that time. Not at that time. Initially waking up under medication and things like that. I don't know. You were drawing a blank. But how long did it take for, before somebody actually told you what happened? The police. When they did they come to, in? They wanted to question me. Okay. But they had to wait till I was able to start talking. How long did it take you to regain your voice? Hmm. I'm not sure. I could give you an exact timetable. Yeah. I don't really know. I don't, all that shit just like kind of cloudy. A situation that I just leave where it's at. And your voice went because of where the no, bullet hit? No. The first went from the surgery. <laughs> the surgery, man, I, I wanted my kidney. They removed my kidney. They removed wow. my kidney, my spleen. Yeah, like, so, you know, it's just the hand is just the damage that you could see. That you but it was see. a lot more damage done. A lot more damage. So they removed all of that because it was damaged. That was damaged. Because of shot. I had a colostomy bag. You did? But I was able to get it reversed. The doctors couldn't even understand how it was healing up so fast. Right. And I told them how. That's God. But, you know. You told them. Yeah, because the, the head trauma surgeon told my son, man, your dad like a superhero, like Wolverine, because they couldn't, they bringing students into my room, and, you know, going over my case, they, they couldn't understand. I'm sitting up eating my, talking to them, and they're like, wow. This nigga healing back. Man, mm. God is awesome, man. Did, God show come you on, something. man. He you awesome, ain't he, man? Make sure you see. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.